excited today to be talking about a topic I've never talked about on this YouTube channel before, and that is Pinterest. Pinterest is a great social media platform, but it's actually not really social media. It's actually a search engine. It's a visual search engine. It's similar to something like Google Images, where you can search a term and things will pop up and you can save them to different folders. You can go to the links that they link to. And for those of you watching who are maybe interested in learning Pinterest, especially if you have a small business, this is gonna be the video for you because I'm gonna be walking through how I create pins, how I use Notion, Canva, and ChatGPT to create pins in 2024 and beyond. And I'm really excited to walk through my entire process. It has changed, it has evolved. There have been more tools that have come out in the last couple of years, but I wanna specifically first talk about what Pinterest is and why it's important to use it. I actually started on Pinterest while it was still in beta in 2011. Isn't that crazy? I was in college at the time and I fell in love with Pinterest. There wasn't that many social media sites at the time. This was even before Instagram, you guys. Like I was on Pinterest, I was an OG Pinterest user. And it was kind of like my love affair with Notion. I just fell in love with the platform and I used it heavily for years. It has been a couple of years since I've been really, really involved, but I, I still love it. So what's cool about Pinterest is the longevity of the posts. I have a post that I posted literally two weeks into COVID and it is still my most popular pin. It has been be getting repinned and, and clicks and all that sort of thing for three years, over three years, almost four years now. So some of the pins that can be pinned do really well. So one of the nice things about Pinterest, um, some new things that they have, they now allow video pins. So if you're making short form content for Reels and TikTok and YouTube Shorts, you can also upload it to Pinterest. Now, on most platforms, I would tell you not to put your TikTok handle, but on Pinterest, I think it's okay because it actually tells people where you are and in case someone steals your content, people know it's from your TikTok. So I've definitely uploaded TikToks with the watermark on it and it hasn't really impacted my performance of my pin. So let's talk a little bit about what types of pins you can make. Um, first off, I recommend finding out what you wanna pin, right? Do you wanna pin a blog post? That's probably the most common thing that you see on Pinterest. I don't have a blog anymore. I just have my YouTube channel and my social media. I used to have a blog though. So all of my old blog links are dead. So I had to delete all those pins. But for me, I actually make pins about my YouTube videos. So that's something that I try to encourage people to click on over to my YouTube channel. So if they're searching, for example, a topic around Notion, I would make a pin about um, a specific Notion video that I have with the title and the description and the link. They can pin it to their boards and then click on over to my YouTube channel. Some other things you can use, again, TikTok or Reels, if you're trying to grow that, you can start uploading those to Pinterest because again, they also get on search engines. So Google Images picks up pins as well as just Google search results in general. So it's just a great way to have um, an account set up. I'll be walking through kind of a just general idea of how to set up your Pinterest account um, and the way it looks as well as how to set up boards as well. But this video, after I talk a bit about the basics, I wanna walk through how I use Notion, um, specifically with my YouTube videos, how I like kind of plan those out, how I make the content in Canva, and then also how I pin to Pinterest. Now, there are some different philosophies on how to use Pinterest, one of which is to stagger like in schedule pins, there's some different apps like, so there's a really popular app called Tailwind that has been around for a long time that allows you to schedule pins. You can also now schedule pins through actual Pinterest itself. Um, I've, I've never really known much about how this works, um, but I just kind of upload them when I can. Um, and that's just because I don't have a lot of time. Um, I was kind of batch editing and batch creating all the content. So then I was also just batch uploading. So let's go through the entire process. I'll head over to my computer and walk through kind of how my Pinterest is set up, um, you know, how to set up board covers, that sort of thing. We'll walk through all the different little things that you need to know and then walk through how I use it. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's head over to Pinterest. Okay, so this is my Pinterest. I have, I've never done this on YouTube before, but I wanted to show it to you guys. So I have my kind of my cover up here. An important thing to note about Pinterest is you should put some descriptive words because again, it's a search engine. So I put Notion, Marketing, Productivity. I may switch that to ADHD at some point, but I've kind of gone back and forth. I also have a bio and a link, that sort of thing. Um, so as you scroll through, you can see that I have a couple of different boards. So what's cool about Notion, or sorry, Pinterest, I'm so used to saying Notion. What's cool about Pinterest is that you can add covers. So I created all of these covers. They're in my branding colors and they are now, um, 
basically I just add them as pins and then you can choose which board cover you have. But I thought that was made it look really nice and organized. So I've really, really scaled down the number of boards that I have. I used to have a ton more because you want a mix of pins that are yours as well as ones that aren't. So if I go into the Notion one, this is the one I've been working on the most. Um, and you can see from looking at it that a lot of my pins look very similar. Um, they have kind of a general theme and also color palette. For me, I recently rebranded to red. And so it kind of, I love the color because it really stands out it also as part of my name. And so I decided to just make some standard Canva Pinterest templates and then I could just pop the name in, pop the, the thumbnail of the video in and have three variations of each video because you never know what's going to work on Pinterest. Sometimes one pin will do better than others. You literally never know. So it's trial and error. Um, and sometimes the more pins you have, you can have multiple pins of the same thing. A lot of people don't know that. You can literally have 10 pins all leading to one thing. So some things that you might want to even link to are things like freebies, your email signups, things that you want people to actually download. So for example, um, my Notion Foundations course, I have a link here. So I actually have a section within Pinterest, within the Notion templates and tutorials board, I have a section called Notion Foundations course. So you can see some of these are my old pins, but I might delete them at some point. Um, it's okay to delete pins every once in a while, especially if they're not getting any traction. Um, obviously this one got a lot of traction, so that also helps me know, okay, well that one works, so then I'm gonna remake that in this color, right? So you gotta see what works in terms of just the look, the, the, that sort of thing. So let's go and take a step back. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, all of the different ways that I've set up my Pinterest, um, but I wanna walk you through how to create pins, how to um, add them to Pinterest, all that stuff. We're gonna move into Canva for the design. Um, and then when I was uploading, I did use Notion as kind of a way to store all the information as I was uploading. So let's move into Canva. I'll show you guys how I did this. All right, now we're in my Canva. I highly recommend downloading the Canva app to your desktop. It's so much easier to use than the, the, desk, than the computer version. So what you could do is you can type in the word Pinterest, and then what you can do is you can see that there's a ton of suggested templates. So this is kind of the sizing that you're gonna want. So let's just click this one as an example. All you do is click customize this template. You're gonna go in, and you are going to change it however you want. You can add your blog name, you can add whatever. Um, one of the things I would do personally is I would change any of the coloring. So you can see here that I have my color palette now saved on Canva. So I would just change that and change all of them. So you would just wanna make sure that your pins are consistent looking. Again, you could change what it is. For me, if I was making this about my YouTube video, I probably wouldn't pick this template. I would find one that has like um, a, a computer. So maybe I type in computer, right? So I could see one of these. So maybe something that has this, maybe this one would be good, right? So for me, what I would do is I actually have uploaded all of my thumbnails that I have created actually in Canva and I've put them in a folder. So I call it my Notion YouTube template folder. So all I would do is I would find the template, uh, sorry, I would find the thumbnail. So for example, this one. This is my 300 page ideas. I probably get rid of this because it's just a little distracting, but I could call it 300 plus page, uh, sorry, page ideas. Let's pretend that this is it. I would, I would put watch on YouTube and then I would probably make that capital. Again, if I want to make this with my color palette and my fonts, um, which are saved over here as well, let's just say that. This is my other font. Um, we could say Notion ideas. Another thing for me that I always add is like little icons. So I would go over to my brand and I would find uh, things like, I'm trying to remember if I have it here yet. So I've got like the Notion logo over here. I always pop that in because sometimes people see that and they're like, oh, Notion. Um, I could also add my logo. I could add um, another thing that I like to add is just like YouTube, the YouTube logo. So I could add something like this. Um, I would probably not use that one. I'd probably use this one and then change it to my colors. So that's a very simple way to make a pin. You can make it however you want. So let's say that you're done. Maybe you make a couple of them. Actually, I will show you guys my pins that I made. Um, if I go to Pinterest, 
what I've done is I've separated them by year. So, cause I have so many different YouTube videos. Um, this is actually some of my ones about my templates. So this is actually ones that I just made. Um, so those are some of the ones I made. And then I've got, let's see, YouTube maybe. Yeah, here we go. So this is, I have literally like hundreds now. So I have a lot of different templates. Oh, that's not what I was gonna do. Um, you can see here that I have them all. So I've just created a ton of the same template and I've just changed out the wording and the image. So it was very easy for me to kind of batch make these. Okay, so we're in Pinterest. We go to, it's pinterest.com forward slash pin dash creation dash tool. This is where you would upload a file. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of one that I actually did make. So let me find one really quick. So this one is called, this is my Notion 101 Beginner's Guide free video tutorial. So what I would do is first I would add a title. I would title it exactly what it is, 101 Beginner's Guide, and then maybe free video tutorial. Now, this is in the past where I would just not put a description just because I was like, oh, I have to think of a description, yuck. I'm not a big writer. So now what I do is I would copy this I would go to chat GPT and then this is literally how I do it. I would create a new chat and then I would type in that and then I say Pinterest description, right? Literally. Perfect. I would literally just copy this. I mean, you can change it if you want, but I would literally just go copy. And then I would go back. You can use hashtags in Pinterest. I don't, again, I, I, it changes all the time if they, they are helpful. So then the next step, this is the next step that took me a while is I'd have to go and find the link, right? So I have to go and find the link, but this is where Notion comes in. Now in Notion, one of the things that I like to do is I like to track my, uh, my YouTube videos. So I'll show you guys how I do that. But what I do is I actually have a board for all of my YouTube like content. So I call it like past YouTube videos. And so every time I publish a YouTube video, I will post it in this database. So let me show that to you guys in Notion and how this is helpful. Okay, so I found the Notion 101 uh, board. I, this is part of the past YouTube videos from 2018 to 2022. So then I would find that exact one. And this is while I'm uploading. One of the things that I've done is I have the posted URL link. So what I can do is I can click copy to clipboard and then I can paste that inside of my pin. Because I'm uploading this pin three times, it's very easy for me to just switch back and forth between Notion and Pinterest to be able to copy that. I also copied and pasted the I call it the Pinterest description from ChatGPT. So this is also able to just quickly copy it into Pinterest. So if I ever wanted to make a pin again about this, I have all the information here about this specific video, including the posted URL and the Pinterest description, and even the name. I could rewrite this name and then I could copy the name. So that's honestly how I use uh, notion with Pinterest is I use it as a place where I store the information about each item. I don't actually have a Pinterest section on notion. Cause I think that's a little overboard, but I could also add something like, um, did I post this on Pinterest? I could add like a checklist, like which, which pins have I posted? Um, because you can post more than once. So I, I definitely need to go through and figure out which of my YouTube videos I have not made pins about. So I could go through and then like maybe make a check mark or I could put a status of, Oh, has this been posted on Pinterest? So that is personally how I have used uh, notion alongside of Canva, to make my Notion pin. So if I'm gonna click this, let's go back then to Chrome so that I can actually finish the pin. Um, I could pin this for you just so you guys know what that looks like. So then what I do is I would just click here, I would paste it. So again, when they click on the pin, it will lead them to YouTube. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, pick a board. So I would pick my Notion templates. And then for me, what I've done is I would call it Notion Tips and Tutorials, which is a section within that. Um, the next thing I would do is you can add a tag. I don't usually see, like I don't usually use this because they don't have like Notion. Look, they don't have it. 
<laughs> journal idea, starting a business. I, I mean, it's just hard. I just usually just don't pick it because there's nothing that really makes sense. Um, so you can also schedule it here. That's what I was talking about. So I could schedule this to go live next week at 12 p.m. Let's just schedule it now. Let's click schedule. So now the pin is scheduled. So that is what you could do and then do that individually. There's other ways that you can also schedule pins like from sites like Metricool. Again, Tailwind is a popular one. Um, again, you still have to spend the time making it. So it's like, all right, I might as well just upload them as well. I just batch it all at the same time. I literally was uploading years worth of YouTube videos because I hadn't, I had been kind of procrastinating just because I knew it was going to take a long time to upload to Pinterest. But let's look at some of the analytics of some of the pins that I uploaded in the last week because I haven't even checked. So I will say with Pinterest specifically, it takes about three months for a pin to even like show up in results. So you can see that um, <laughs> this is just from me the other day uploading because I hadn't uploaded in so long that my impressions have now gone up a lot. Um, but you can see some of my pins, I've had like so many engagements and impressions these are from years ago, 15,000 impressions in the last 30 days. This one is 7,000, but both of these are not really helpful to me. Look, April 1st, 2020, this was from April 21st, 2020. So it's interesting. This one was 2022. This one was 2023. So you've got to see what works and then try to make more of that. So you can see that the ones that I've uploaded this week, um, I'm trying to think this one, the seven steps to make and sell notion templates. This so far has been my highest performing in terms of impressions. You can definitely see how many you know clicks. So one of my goals with Pinterest is, you know, getting more pins that are relevant to my business and trying to get more external outbound clicks. That to me is the most important thing I want to work on is getting people off of Pinterest and back to my content. So yeah, I haven't been on, as active in about two years, so I'm trying to get better at posting more consistently, having better branding and more consistency in the look. And then hopefully that will translate to more people clicking onto my YouTube channel, to more sales and email signups, because that's again the goal. Um, you want to have again a mix of pins that are yours, pins that you find. You don't want to just have your own pins, but you also don't want to just have other people's pins either. So you kind of want to have a mix. So let me know if you guys have any more questions about Pinterest or about Canva, ChatGPT, Notion. I got it all. So let me know um, if you want to check out my content calendar template or any of my templates, make sure to check them out below or join Notion Foundations where you get uh, all the trainings, all the, all the templates. We got live classes every month. We've got office hours. It's a great deal for 147. Highly recommend checking that out. So anyways, Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video, how to use Pinterest, how to use it with Canva and Notion and ChatGPT, and I'll talk to you guys soon.